what are <laughs> what what am I? Classic. So yeah, this is the most frequently asked question I've had relating to my race. And I don't know, it always makes me a bit uncomfortable. I'm not entirely sure. Am I white? Am I colored? Am I just a regular guy? I don't know. Like you just see that look on people's faces and they're like, and you can see that they're trying to like figure it out. And they're like, I mean, I don't want to like offend you in any way, but what are you? And it's like, uh, which side do you prefer? Well, when I'm alone, I take it all over, but when I'm with someone, I take the right side, TBH. That's such a hectic question. I feel like you can't prefer one side of yourself. That's, a, that's mm -mm. okay. Next. Is that your real mom and dad? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I hope so. Yeah, this is also a very common question. Um, I usually just play along, you know, whatever I'm feeling with that time. Maybe I'll say my mom is my girlfriend or something just to <laughs> catch a reaction and see what they say. No, it's my fake mom and dad. <laughs> they just pretend. No, you can't touch. Don't touch my hair. Please don't touch, like, don't touch my hair. <laughs> please, please, please. No, you weirdo. Like this, okay, but this is really weird for anyone though. I mean, if any person wants, you know, touch, touch your hair. And it's never a normal touch, like just like touch, that's really cool. You know, it's like in the roots and grab your scalp, kind of uncomfortable, you know? But I used to have like a really big afro for like a year or two, and that was a constant, constant thing. So yes, you can, but please don't ask, <laughs> especially not more than once. You're so exotic. Ah, uh, yeah, I am. <laughs> but what does that mean? Like, what does it mean? Are you adopted? Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> no, I'm not adopted. I'm not adopted. You don't look... I've actually never gotten this. I've actually... I think people are just confused when they see me, so they don't ask. <laughs> Uh, white is probably the most common thing, and then that's why people tend to ask me, you know, well, what am I if I'm not white? That's also a weird one because, like, like, what does it mean to like look a certain way? Like, is there like a like a form? Like, if you're white, you need to look like this, and if you're black, and if you're, you know, and also when you're a mix, obviously you're not gonna like look just one way. It's like a mix, so it's exciting. Yeah, strange questions. You don't act colored enough. Um, hectic. So this is something I've also been told a couple of times. Um, once by a good friend of mine who's quite like, I don't know, like politically conscious, or at least that's how he views himself, I think. Um, so yeah, he's, I remember when I was growing up, he made a big thing about how I need to like embrace my, my heritage more and I need to be more colored. Um, and I, I dated like a mixed race girl also for a little while and she said the same thing. How I like wasn't colored enough and I was way too white and I needed to embrace my inner colored. Um, I find that problematic though. <laughs> I don't know. It makes me uncomfortable. It must be so hard balancing different cultures. Yeah, it is, especially when you don't speak vernac. Um, a large part of my extended family is Sutu and you know, Whenever you go there, you're the, you're the Indian or you're the white guy. And you know, it's not like a thing that they make, but it's kind of like the rhetoric that's around. It's like that little thing in the air that everybody kind of knows. And then when you go to, you know, your Indian family, you're the black guy. Yeah, it like reminds me of like at school, like when I was like super young um, and friends would talk about like, Obviously, like being super problematic and talking about, I don't know, like a black g girl and or like black pe people and they do th things like that and blah, blah, blah. But it's fine because you're not like them, you know, or because you're like, yeah, it's shit like that where you're like, whoa. When I was with a whole group of friends, um, a guy from Zambia and a South African white guy, yeah, the guy from Zambia was black <laughs> and um, this this guy came up to us and he started speaking I think in Spedi or something like that and um, I went forward um, and I'm like hi you know can I help you or whatever and then he replied 
um, no, I don't want to talk to you, you're white, I want to talk to my black brother. And the guy's Zambian, so he speaks uh, Bemba, if I'm not mistaken. Whilst my mom is Betty, so I can understand Betty, but he essentially just told me to fuck off because I was too light. Uh, do you wish that you weren't mixed raised? No. Maybe growing up there were times, again, just with like bullying and that kind of thing, every now and then I'd be like, fuck, I really wish I had, you know, fucking Justin Bieber hair. That was like probably the one thing as a kid, otherwise no. Also, you know, if I was just born like just black, you know, I think it would have been easier to navigate things, I think. It would have been, I would have had a lot more security in myself and my own culture and also I would have, um, my vernacular would have been way better, which is something I am a bit insecure about, my, my lack of multilingualism. So, um, do I wish that I was not mixed race? No. Uh, no, actually, I, I love being mixed race. I think I would like to believe that if I was anything else, I would also really love it. But I can't imagine being anything else because I guess I am who I am. So. Never. No. As much as it's like awkward, it's still like, it's me. Like I can't imagine like living like any other life.